Hey guys, Seventh here. This is first in a new series that I'm starting called 10 Minute Taste, where I do an off the cuff 10 minute review of a uh, downloadable title or a DLC or what have you. And I decided since uh, it's the talk of the town, I'd start with Journey. Now, there's been a lot of talk about Journey, and, and uh, obviously there's a lot of hype towards it. Uh, and there's also been some kind of, I guess you could say, reservation towards it. And so I thought I'd delve into that a little bit. Now, this is a new series and what have you, and of course, there's been a lot of talk in the community about how uh, drama vids tend to get a lot more attention, uh, even though you guys complain a lot about there not being enough game reviews in our gaming group. Oh, digital shout out. Uh, if you're going to complain about there not being game videos, you need to actually watch the game videos. So, you know, you can put in the comments that you want to, uh, you know, what you want to see from me or what have you, but uh, if the views don't show it, you know, not exactly encouraging. So it's important that you guys actually watch this stuff so we know you like it. Digital shout out. Now, you see that thing that you just grabbed right there? That actually extends the length of your scarf. The longer your scarf is, the uh, higher and farther you can jump until at one point eventually you're practically flying about. Now, this game is very light on story. There is no spoken dialogue, but through moments like this, which this happens once per quote unquote level, you will see a brief interaction with this character's uh, god or whatever it's supposed to be, uh, representation of its uh, passed on ancestors, who knows, digital shout out. But uh, what you'll see here, uh, this is sort of a hieroglyphic that'll appear whenever you get to one of those digital shout out for Dragon Leader 33. And uh, it kind of gives the general basic idea, digital shout out, god you guys, you need to decide whether you're going to be on or off and stick with it. But, uh, or I'm going to start turning that shit off and no more digital shout outs for you. This gives you a general idea of the story of the game, which as I understood it, there was a ancient society and they were very prosperous and uh, very intelligent and what have you, and then some kind of a technological disaster occurred and their entire civilization was destroyed. So it's almost kind of a kind of an Atlantis type thing. But uh, all these little creatures that you see, everything revolves around these these scarf looking pieces of fabric and even the uh, creatures that roam about. And you can call them with the uh, with one little press of a button and they will carry you to places, they'll re uh, revive your power or what have you. And uh, off we go. Uh, as you can see, even though the graphics are simplistic, they, uh, they really do tell the story well. Uh, it's very well done, it's very stylistic. Uh, I can honestly say I haven't seen anything else quite like it on any system out. It's, uh, it's, it has a look all of its own. Gameplay wise, you can really tell that this is a, uh, an evolutionary step from Flower. There's a lot of game mechanics to the game that, while it's not strictly motion-based like Flower was, uh, you can see where certain aspects of Flower's gameplay translated and moved forward into what you have here. And uh, I won't go as far as to say that I ever cried during this game. There wasn't anything that... Uh, would elicit that kind of that level of emotion out of me, <clears throat> emodio. But uh, I will say that there are a lot of breathtaking moments that you'll see in the 90 minutes to two hours that it takes for you to complete the game. Now, as you can see, I've got another player here, and that's how it happens. You don't choose multiplayer. You'll just be playing, and all of a sudden you'll happen across another player, and well. And you can either choose to go with him or just keep on doing what you're doing. And since I'm doing a review, I'm just going to let him go and explore and do what he wants and get uh, down to the heart of things. So I'm just moving forward here. And this is actually, when you're talking about, I guess, breathtaking moments, for me anyway, this was the one that really like caught my eye 
and uh, I said to myself, wow, I, I can't say I've ever seen anything quite like that in a game before. And it's not quite here yet, but it's coming up. Now, I'll, I'll let you know when that's coming. And what I'm going to do is when it gets to that moment, I'm just going to shut up and pipe the audio up and let you see it for yourself. Uh, spoiler alert, if you haven't played this game and you want it to be a completely version experience, this would be the time to back out. So, there is a trophy for getting uh, through 15 of these gates, which is why I'm doing what I'm doing here. I haven't earned it yet, so, you know, fail on my part. But, uh, okay, it's uh, coming up here, so I am just going to shut up and uh, let you see this for yourself. I'll be back in a couple of seconds. There is no combat in this game. Uh, the controls are very accurate, they're very precise, uh, very well done for what they are. You know, there's not a whole lot of, uh, uh, there's no whole lot to it. You move around and you fly and it, all of it is pretty much done with one button. Uh, there are no boss battles, however there are enemies in the game. Uh, basically it's, it has almost a kind of a mini stealth element to it where you're just skipping around trying to get away from the bad guy. The biggest deterrent that you will hear about this game is its length. Uh, like I said, you can beat it in about 90 minutes to two hours. And, uh, of course, the players that you play with that you'll come across during the game, you only find out who they are after you complete the game. It gives you a list of all the players you've played with so you can add them to your friends list. But uh, there are people that will say $15 for 90 minutes of gameplay. Uh, digital shout out. You know what's the what's the big deal in that? Fifteen you know fifteen dollars for ninety minutes. Well, you know in my day, you could go out and buy a fifty dollar Nintendo game that you'd only that you could walk through in about two hours, like Mega Man Two. You know games that are considered classics. And while yeah there are a lot of you know fifteen dollar DLC games out there that you get a lot more for your money, uh, certainly so you're not gonna see an experience like you're seeing here. It's it's one of a kind, I guess you could say. So what you're spending your fifteen dollars on is uh, a unique experience that no other game on the PSN or really Xbox Live is going to give you. So with that said, uh, it does detract from my total score just a little bit because you know there are other games that I've spent less on on PSN that overall I had a more fun gameplay experience with it but as just a more more on the level of an overall satisfaction this one ranks pretty high but still I'm gonna give it just a little bit of a, uh, a down mark for that because honestly I was enjoying it to the point where I, uh, I kinda wish that they had made it a little bit longer so again overall for the experience uh, $15 uh, that's kind of a judgment call. I wish it would have been a longer game, so I am going to give it just a wee bit of a downgrade on that. Also would have been nice if you could have selected uh, people from your friends list to play with instead of it being randomized. I understand why they did it, because it adds to the mystery, but uh, it would have been a nice option. But overall, uh, this is one of the best games that you can get on PSN, and uh, for that reason and for everything else, I'm going to give it six and a half stars out of seven.